amazing viewers and subscribers and welcome to our brand new exciting Doctor Who video. For, today, for this video we have the limited edition versus the standard edition for Doctor Who the collection season 8. So this is going to be the last type video for a little while because I managed to get them and of course I have literally received an email saying that my steelbook for Doctor Who season 1 aka season 40 will be here soon because it was only dispatched today so there will be an unboxing video for that hopefully fingers crossed it'll be here on saturday because i would absolutely love for that to arrive a few days early so here is doctor the collection season eight the limited edition versus the standard edition so as you can see it is in the plastic protector the limited edition with a little bit of sticky tape on the j card so that is the back and of course, that's also the back. So if you can put this on pause, if you want to read the information. So I will try and bring them in more into focus for you to read. So continue your Doctor Who archive with the Ultimate Collector's Set. Tell the Autons, Mind of Evil, Claws of Axos, Connery in Space and the Daemons. A classic season from the third Doctor. All 25 episodes, newly remastered and packed with bonus material, including... Updated special effects on Terror of the Autons. In conversation, Matthew Sweet chats to actor Katie Manning, Joe Grant. So, I'm going to literally tell you a little bit of a story about why I got season 8. That I missed out when I did my video on it. With, with um, season 19 and the Peter Davison collection season 1. It's because I went to HMV and it was, a tour, it was literally a choice between... A John Pertwee season and a Colin Baker season. So basically it was season 8 or season 22. And I think I've gone with the best one. Because I absolutely love the 1970s. It is my favourite era of Doctor Who. Every single one of the stories is perfection. Absolutely perfect. Absolutely fantastic. And absolutely amazing. So I do love the 1970s. And um, of course, John Pertwee and Tom Baker are the two best Doctors, in my retrospect opinion, for the 70s. But out of all the Doctors, Pertwee is in sixth place, unfortunately. But I do enjoy his Doctor and I do love season eight. Now, season eight, is it my favourite John Pertwee season? Well, no, it's actually my third favourite season for John Pertwee. And it comes after season 10 and, of course, season 11, uh, season seven. Then, of course, after this one, it is series season 11. And then, of course, season 9 is still my least favourite John Pertwee season. But it does have my favourite Pertwee story in it, a.k.a. The Sea Devils, which is honestly my flat-out amazing John Pertwee story. So, I'm going to let you open this off and take out it out of the plastic casing. I love season 8. It is honestly my third favourite season for John Pertwee's Doctor I love the fact this is the introduction to Roger DeGardo's Master. And for the collection set, it is the only season to have Roger DeGardo on the actual artwork. So, Roger DeGardo played the Master from season 8 to season 10, just before he's on um, timely passing away. So, this is the only season to have his Master on it. And it's actually quite fitting too, because he is this season is every single one of these stories is a master story. And I absolutely love it. So, of course, you've got the creature from Connery in Space. You've got an Axon, an Auton, a Cell. I would have loved to have a little book, if we could have book. And, of course, the Doctor's holding the time demutilization de 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 circuit. So, again, so that's what it looks like on the side. So, limited edition is a lot bigger than the standard edition. But it does have all the same information. But I'm going to show you something that I absolutely love about the standard editions. So, of course, opening up. Now, this, this is the only Pertwee season I've got at the moment um, standard release. I need to get season 10 until season 9 comes out. Hopefully next year. So, opening it up. So, of course, you've got this fantastic um, flip artwork by Lee Binding. And, of course, it is for Connery in Space. Opening the TARDIS doors, it has the artwork for basically the booklet, the artwork at the top of the booklet for Terror of the Autons. Again, I have, I am in the middle of trying to cosplay John Pertwee from the season. And of course, you have John Pertwee's console room from this season. Basically, that we see in 
Claws of Axos and Connery in Space. And that book, and it does contain the booklet. So I will show you the difference about the booklet a bit later on-ish. So moving that. So this is what all the discs look like. So we have, if I just quickly close that. So of course we've got basically Terror of the Autons, Mind of Evil, Claws of Ax The Claws of Axos, Connery in Space, Connery in Space Disc 2, the Daemons on disc six, disc seven, Azal, aka the Daemons. And then the final one is, of course, the TARDIS with Axe inside Axos. And at the back, you've got John Pertwee's face from the title sequence. I absolutely love John Pertwee's titles. They absolutely do are one of my favourites. I prefer his original titles over the season 11 titles. And that's technically it for the standard edition. So if you move it away from the J card. So that is basically what it looks like. The full artwork in pure glory. And absolutely splendid to look at. The back of it we've got a bit of Pertwee's title sequence. And then of course you've got the TARDIS travelling through the time vortex. Basically from Colouring Space. Because the, this season the Doctor and the previous season is more, le more stranded on Earth. So it is actually quite nice to have this season it really is and then of course it's absolutely brilliant so this is what the standard edition looks like so if i just quickly show you the j card a minute so here is the j card so again you know the standard j card the artwork of the tiles traveling through the time vortex is actually on the bottom of it and that one's just come open please close you absolutely beautiful thing so this is what the standard one looks like and of course you've got the tardis on the top doctor who the collection season eight then, of course, on the side, you've got the Blu-ray case, the standard Blu-ray case with the little picture of the artwork from the season. So a bit like that one. So you have it in fuel gory there. But then, of course, you've got it here. So you just see the master's head on the limited edition on the doctor's uh, free shirt where this one, you have all of the monsters. That is the side, all of the monsters. You can tell the difference. But there again, I absolutely love the standard edition. Then, of course, taken out of the slip card. So here is the artwork from the back. So, of course, you've got the ties from the title sequence. That's the side. And then, of course, John Pertwee holding the demonization circuit. So it is actually quite nice to have two artworks exactly the same, basically. Like so. Actually, I do have another copy of this artwork, if I just show you quickly. Right then. So I actually have a picture frame of the type from the artwork for this season so if i literally move the camera back a bit so as you can see it so i do have the artwork in a picture frame for by lee binding which i got in a doctor who magazine so if i just move that so i do love the artwork absolutely brilliant then of course this is so opening it up we move the booklet so then of course you've got doctor who like terror of the autons the mind of evil Claws of Axos, Connery in Space. Then, of course, Connery in Space on Disc 5. And Disc 6 is basically the Daemons. And Disc 7, the Daemons. And then, of course, Disc 8. And then, of course, like the other standard ones, as I showed you, for Season 17, 19, 24, and 26. So, if you move the picture, you have the fantastic artwork of the third Doctor's TARDIS that you have in the flap. So the one thing I really miss about these limited standard editions. Now the limited editions are absolutely perfect. They are flat out perfect and absolutely one of the best things about the collection sets. So the one thing that I absolutely have to say that really bugs me about the standard ones. Why can we not have Pertwee's face in the back of the titles? Like we have here with the top at the back of the disc for the bonus disc. You got the face of John Pertwee from the title sequence. But then of course... For the standard ones, you just have basically the artwork. And then, of course, you've got the inside of the Tires console. I would have loved it if they could include it, like a little small photo or something with, from the, the title sequence that you have at the back of these limited edition ones. But I think it what makes the limited edition ones quite unique. And then, of course, comparing the booklet. So this is booklet number one for the limited edition. And then, of course, booklet number two for the standard. And, of course, you can tell by the sizes if you look. 
So show you what you get in this booklet. You get a ton of information about the season. Doctor Who back in business. Then of course a bit about the inf like the, the development of the story. Little fantastic black and white pictures from the story because for a very long time this story exists in black and white until basically the 1990s when it was released on VHS in of course with it being restored into colour. Mind of Evil black and white on the VHS it's in black and white. And then of course you've got a fantastic artwork poster there. And then, of course, Claws of Axos. Again, a fantastic artwork there. Then, of course, as you can see, Claws of Axos, then Connery in space. Look at that one. John Pertwee facing a, a giant claw. <laughs> Brilliant. Then, of course, we have the Daemons. And, of course, the Daemons in black and white for the uh, the Honorburst version. And then, of course, you've got a fantastic artwork for the Daemons. And then, of course, the bonus disc. So, that's what you get in that one. And then, of course, in this one, you've got, so you see, Terror of the Autons. You still get the picture of John Pope, but you don't have, like, Welcome to Season 8. Terror of the Autons, Mind of the Evil, Claws of Axos, Connery in Space, and the Daemons. And then, of course, a fantastic, the fantastic artwork from the Daemons. So that's basically what you get. But the only thing about this is that the fact you miss a ton of fantastic information that you get in the limited edition. So for this round, again, if I just quickly sort this out, put the standard one back. Come here, you beauty. Put the standard one back in. So put the limited edition one in there. Then, of course, put it on the J, in the J card, not on the J card. In the J card. There we are. And then, of course... There we are, the standard one. So, yet again, the limited edition wins for me. So, this is basically round five, and the limited editions win. Will the limited editions keep winning? Definitely. Are the standard ones actually worth the extra money and the extra time to get in your collection? Definitely. I'm quite, I was a bit, a little bit um, nervous of getting the two box sets the two literally the limited edition standard one because i did have a few people say oh you don't need them you got the limited editions you don't really need to get them again but the standard ones are actually quite cool so if you don't really want to damage your limited edition ones it is worth it getting the standard one as it comes in the actual blu-ray casing so yes yeah, season eight wins again so the limited edition wins again and of course this is my third favorite john pertwee season so after i finish watching season 19 the american version i'm jumping into season eight so yeah let me know in the comments what you collect limited edition standard edition or is it both let me know please do like subscribe and share and join me for more awesome doctor who content